Inside this video right here, I'm gonna give you my EKG 101 lesson if you're getting ready for paramedic school. Here we go. Hey everyone, it's the Paramedic Coach here. If you're new here, or if you haven't yet, hit subscribe below to get the most out of this channel for EMS education. Don't miss a video. And finally, if you're watching this video right now, hit the like button down below. Somebody out there, hit the like button for you. See this video on YouTube, so return the favor. Hit the like button for them, and let's dive into it. Here's EKG 101. In this video, we're gonna be going over normal sinus rhythm, so you understand this. If we don't understand normal sinus, Nothing else makes sense. Now a normal sinus rhythm is an EKG. It has a normal rate. The normal heart rate in a normal average patient is 60 to 100. Now as far as the rhythm itself, it needs to be a regular rhythm, which means essentially these QRS complexes need to line up in a regular pattern. Okay. And the waves need to be the appropriate as far as timing, and they also need to all be there as well. If we have all that, we got a normal size rhythm. Now, here's what we have as far as waves, okay? You're getting ready for medic school, I want to understand this. This right here, this first line here, okay? So this would be the, like, you know, this line ending here is the same as this line here. We call this line the isoelectric line. Just plant this line in your head to remember when you do 12 lead EKGs, we always look at the isoelectric line and then we look at the ST segment to determine if we're having a heart attack or not. Just remember that for later on in medical school to want to give you that. Now here's the P wave. The P wave is the first positive deflection on EKG. What does that mean? A positive deflection means the wave points up. So if you notice, the P wave, the R wave, and the T wave point up. They're all positive deflections. The Q wave and the S wave are negative deflections. They both point down. So the P wave, what does that represent? What does that mean? It means the atria, you know, the top of the heart, the atria is the top, the ventricles are the bottom, right? It means the atrias, they are firing. They are going off. The medical word is they're depolarizing in the electrical activity. And what's happening is we get the P wave. The next wave that we have here is the Q wave. The Q wave is the beginning of the QRS complex. This QRS complex represents the ventricles, what? The bottom of the heart, the ventricles depolarizing, firing, going off. Okay, that's the ventricles. Now over here, we have the T wave. What does that represent? The T wave represents something called repolarization. Re sounds like rest, exactly. This is when the ventricles actually repolarize or reset or relax for the next contraction. You with me? Follow me? That's how I remember it for life and that's how I just taught you. If this rate is correct and we're at 60 to 100 and we have a regular rhythm and all these waves are in order, we have normal sinus rhythm, folks. That's what we have, okay? There's two other main segments that I want you to know about, okay? In here, we have something called the PR interval, okay? The PR interval starts from the beginning of the P and it goes all the way up here until we have the Q. Okay, that's our PR interval. Okay, that should be 0.12 to 0.2 seconds. Now the ST segment goes, this is our J point right here, all the way to the beginning of the T. This line right here is the ST segment right there. Okay, this, all this is the PR interval. Okay, pretty cool. Those are the main players when we're talking about the EKG. I'm gonna give you one more little tip before I take off, okay? The QRS complex, 
which we have from the Q wave, the RS. That, the amount of time we're looking for, okay, for the QRS to be normal is between 0.08 and 0.12. That's a normal QRS. Now, just so you're aware, in class they may say that a QRS complex greater than 0.1, so it be 0.10, or a QRS at 0.11 is a delayed QRS. That's fine, but it's not a wide QRS. A wide QRS is greater than 0.12. So as long as you remember that, and too short would be under 0.08, okay? As long as you understand that and how that functions, just go ahead and replay this video again. Watch this video over twice, and you'll be on your way to understanding EKGs. Hope this helps. Back before I started medical school, I was literally scouring the internet, trying to find all these things and trying to put it all in one place to prepare for paramedic school. Well, I've put that all together for you in this video course right here. You don't gotta scour the internet. The first link in the description is my life's work. It's my video study course. I've put in the hours, I've put in the time making this course the number one prep resource in the face of the world for EMT, advanced EMT, and paramedic students. Whether it's school, whether it's national emergency prep, whether it's getting better on the job, whether it's medications, it's all in here. If you wanna learn more about EKGs, grab the course, the link is the first link in the description, and we can dive more into stuff just like this. My friends, I will see you down below, and I will see you in the next video right here on the Paramedic Coach YouTube. I'll catch you next time. Take care. Waste, don't waste any time. Don't don't be hesitant and just do it because I know this program works. And I know it's it got me to where I was, where it's been a year without school from EMT to, hey, I passed my test in 70 questions. Like, go for it. You could do it. Like, do not hesitate and don't waste any time. People that don't know you, they need to they need this program. This program is not a, a choice. To me, this program is a half. To take uh, uh, thousands and thousands of pages in the books and you just narrow it down and just make everything simple past the registry. So uh, it's, it's, it's great content, man. I promise you it's worth it. I took this with three weeks left to go in my class and I just, I'm not sure if I would have been able to pass my course or the NREMT first try without this course. The fact, like when I was taking the, the national, and I would read the question and I, I would be like, whoa, Evan literally just went over this in the car. So it's, it really, it helps. I got to the point where I was just ready to spill all my knowledge onto this freaking test. So I'm like, you know what, man, just go ahead, go for it. Open it up, boom, congratulations, you passed. It was um, outside of having my children, man, it's probably the, like the happiest day of my life, bro, to be honest with you.